वेलकम टू माय साइट कोर्ट डायरीज आई एम जितेंद्र घानेकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट साइट कर पावर शेल एक्सटेंशन एसपी सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ एसपी मॉड्यूल इन साइट कोर देन वी विल सी व्हाट आर द टूल्स अवेलेबल टू रन दिस पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट इन साइट कोर option available to execute script how to run ps script then we will see how what are the debugging options available in site core for uh, powershell script then how we can save the ps script in site core then how we can utilize that uh, saved uh, ps script in the site core jobs how to check ps log in site core a few useful syntax uh, at the end we will be saying so before starting uh, uh, let me request you if you have not uh, subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel and if you are liking the video then please uh, click on a like button and do share with your friends and uh, colleagues and provide your co comments via the pro provide your feedback via the comments so let's start today's topic at the end we are also going to see sample ps script so please watch the video till the end sitecore powershell extension psp so what is sitecore powershell extension it is a module that is tailored to automate your task in command line and scripting environment the extension works in a conjunction with the various sitecore processes to manipulate the files initiate calls to sitecore apis and do much more it follows the standard powershell syntax of windows so what is powershell script that i'm not going into detail i think everyone must be knowing that in the history also i'm not uh, going into that if you think uh, you ne you need that information then please uh, comment uh, that as i will make a separate video a small video that what is powershell script and what is the history of it and how it is uh, uh, how it is developed uh, for the uh, side code so that will be a separate uh, video if you want then i can create that but for now we'll let's see what is powershell extension so it is basically based on the powershell so it is actually the uh, extension or a module in the site core which will help you to run the powershell script now powershell script can be used for the automation okay so i can do a manipulation of the files uh, so it, it will initiate the call to site core api so many things which we can do with the powershell script powershell uh, site core powershell extension is a basically the, the module which you need to install externally on the site core then what are the different powershell extension tools uh, with uh, available so in this we have a uh, uh, three things first is the powershell console console tools works almost like the command line windows where individual command can be executed powershell console is a basically your command uh, powershell command so you where you can actually run the command so that is for the powershell console then you have a powershell isc so most of the time you are going to use this powershell isc powershell isc site one layer above the console providing the functionality like script debugging breakpoints and so forth enabling the programmer to create a functional powershell script so basically here you can develop the powershell script in console uh, you actually write the commands only like we, we write in the cmd but here you can write a code you can write a script powershell script you can execute it you can debug it so that tool is called as a powershell ic then there is another tool uh, the small tool powershell toolbox which handles a task manager session manager and similar kind of functionality so it is a tool which is related to uh, powershell it is like it is it is helpful tools which is available for the uh, what the your scripting okay so that is the third thing powershell toolbox so these are the three tools uh, which is available with the uh, site code so you have a powershell console with that is command line uh, tool then you have powershell isc that is your uh, uh, where you write your script and powershell toolbox so let's uh, see installing the sitecore powershell extension so by default uh, sitecore powershell extension is not installed in the sitecore you have to install it okay so now how can we install it <coughs> first thing is we you have to download the sitecore powershell extension or the latest version you can download uh, the package from your uh, sitecore uh, download page so once you go to the sitecore download page you have to go to the sitecore experience accelerator okay in that you can see a sitecore powershell uh, extension for sitecore so you can download this zip file 
then you install this uh, package on your site for instance so uh, you you can use your installation uh, <coughs> dialog box and where you can upload this uh, package and you can install it okay once you install the uh, package you will see in your launch pad there are two uh, 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 options which will be available if you uh, if you see right now if there is if there is no powershell script then uh, powershell module is installed then you will not see powershell ic and powershell reports option in your launch pad once you install it you will get these two options so in the uh, powershell uh, uh, if you if you if you log in into the desk, uh, desktop then you will see there are different powershell options okay first is the powershell console once you click on it you will see this kind of a uh, uh, ui okay which is similar to the uh, command line interface cmd okay and here it works also similar to the cmd here you can use your commands then if you click on a powershell toolbox so this is basically a different tools which is related to the powershell you can use it we can, we are not going to cover this powershell toolbox in this video if you if you want the uh, video on this also then you can please comment me so accordingly i will i will create a separate video for the powershell toolbox and then third uh, tool is very important that is powershell isc so once you click on powershell isc then it will open this uh, interface okay this is where you will going to write your script okay it has a two parts if you see in the top you have a blank screen editor where you can uh, uh, write your script whereas in the, there is a blue part here at the down okay here you can see the result and there is a top at the, at the top uh, we will have we have a menu let's see one by one what are the different menus we have so first section where you have a different uh, options like a new which will create the new script uh, or a module open will you, you uh, uh, open the existing script so you can select the existing script save and save as as you know what it does it, it saves the copies and the reload is open the original copy of the current script without saving so this is the part for the uh, editing the files okay it's a uh, first part then you have this section where which is useful for the execution or debugging or a development execute where you see this button execute button here so this button runs the current script as a background job uh, or in the http context selection okay then you have a selection that runs the selected text of the current script if you select it and if you want to run that then their selection will be used debug it will run the current script with the debugging mode enabled so similarly what we do for a visual studio you can put a debugger and then uh, you can debug it okay a temporary file is generated on the file system to support the uh, the use of a breakpoints then you have aborts which stop the execution of the executing script then you have this context section okay <laughs> the context section is specified the current item of the script helpful if you are if you write a script dependent on the specific path or current directory is denoted as a dot okay and mru three view are provided for the choosing the path so if you want to specify the context where this script should be run on which node okay then you can specify from here okay that will define this context of that sprint uh, then you have a sessions uh, there so sessions uh, specify the sessions to use when executing the script reuse session live, uh, live uh, in the http sessions options include the session created for the ic instance one time session or the persistent session id configured on the script so this is session is a where you can utilize the session also okay then uh, there, there is another section where you can set the ui context that is language specify the context language to use when executing the script and you can specify who which user it should run so specify the context user to impersonate the executing the script okay so if you want to want to you have some kind of a uh, what do you say uh, relation in the script where you want to use the uh, certain roles then you you can you can choose that context user okay so these are the this is the thing which is we have in the spu so you have a three tools one is a power powershell ic that is we are going to mostly use you are going to use then you have a command line where you can write a command and then you have a tools powershell tools and now let us see how to uh, run ps script uh, in sitecore so first of all you have to go to the desktop and you you have a launch pad and execute uh, and click on the uh, powershell ic so it will open like this then you can add your uh, uh, the uh, command or a script which you want to write 
so if you see here i have written a simple uh, script which is get child item path masters contain home recursive so what does it does it it will uh, get the child item of the node contain slash home and it is a recursive so it will uh, find the uh, within the folder also it will go down okay so that is the script which i have written now if i want to execute uh, this script then i have to click on this execute button okay once you click on the execute button the script will run and then finally you will see uh, the result okay so that result will be in the blue section the down section where you will see what i am trying to do here get child item path master contain home so i am trying to get the children's of the home so if you see here it is retaining the children's what are the items which is available like test website article 1 article 2 article 3 so whatever the item which i have created within the site code it is returning if you see it is also returning the children languages and the version and the id and the template name so this is how by default it will get executed so if you want to run any uh, script you have to write the script in this uh, white section of this uh, uh, sorry this uh, white section of the uh, uh, ps uh, uh, ic okay where you can write your script you have to click on execute button which will run the script okay and this script will run in the context of this whatever you have provided here the session and then the language which you have provided here and the user will be whatever user which you have selected here or the user who is logged in will be will be selected here and if you want to change the user then you can select from here so this is uh, how the you can run the uh, ps script now let's see how you uh, will debug the ps script so same uh, uh, script i am uh, showing you so same script if you see here uh, the at the uh, line number one i have double click it it's the same like vs visual studio once you double click it it will it will put the debugger here okay then you have a, a section here with the script section debug so once you click on the debug it will it will start debugging so what are the options once you click on this what will happen is you will get these uh, options okay we will have a continue it's, a, it's like f5 you does in the vs okay so it will continue the uh, the execution so if you want to step into then you, you can use this option if you want to step out you can use this option step over you can use this option you want to stop the debugging you can click on this and there is also an option called immediate window where you can check the if you're, you want to do anything uh, uh, check any values then you can go in immediate window and check it okay it's a similar what you do in the VHS studio there's one more thing which you can do is if you have some variable or any uh, uh, any data which you are getting retrieved so if you hover it then it will show you what are the data which is available in that variable okay so this is how you will be uh, debugging the ps script once you apply the debugger you can run the debug uh, you can click on a debug option in the menu and then you will get these options like continue step into step out step over stop immediate window the this is a similar experience with what you have in the visual studio you will get the same experience here also okay so this is how you will uh, debug the ps script now let's see uh, how can you uh, save the uh, ps script in the uh, site code okay so once you click on the save or save as button you will get this dialog this dialog box where you can select the uh, database and where you want to store the script so this is helpful when you want to uh, use this script in the uh, site code jobs okay the jobs where you you are uh, executing something in the periodic basic or some inter time interval uh, or regularly you want to execute uh, some or you want to do some automation then you can use that uh, that those script like you can save those script and you can use site code jobs to run those script automatically okay so for th that you can save it so once you save here then you can use it in the, the jobs now let's see how to do that okay site code job with the script so once you uh, save the uh, the uh, the script you can go to the your content tree in the task okay and uh, if you right click it you will get this option insert 
you will get it powershell script uh, scripted task journey so there is a specific option where you can have the uh, uh, powershell powershell scripted task journey so where you can schedule your task to run the powershell script so once you do that we click a, you will get this dialog box where you can give the task name so you can select uh, you can give the task name whatever name which you want to give it. then you can schedule the task location okay then you can select which script you want to execute like i have saved here a test script you can select that test script and then you can click on a create and once you create it it will create the uh, task in the uh, task uh, board okay so basically what will happen is it will create a task it will be something like this uh, where you first of all you uh, once you create click the create button you will get this uh, dialog box where it will you can schedule like from when to when, uh, when you want to run from at what time you want to run the uh, script and what time you stop the script that time you can specify which day of uh, to uh, the script should be run that you can spe specify you can specify the interval if you want to specify any interval and then click on the change so that will save your uh, 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 task okay and that task will come here schedule the within the schedule test okay so if you open this test you will understand that you will have a command here which will which will tell which is telling you the what command you are using in the job when you click on a test you will see this then you have an item which item needs to be run like you have selected the script this is the time interval so whatever you have scheduled here that will come here so this is how it will set up and now uh, as per your uh, schedule here that that job will get run and that that script will get executed the time which you have specified the day you have specified the interval you have specified so this is how your site code job can utilize the ps script and this is very useful for the some automation tasks like you want to do some cleanup like a recycle bit cleanup you want to do some uh, periodic interval indexing then you can use this uh, so uh, you want to do some publishing at a specific time interval time then you can uh, use this so these are many uh, many use cases you can have it with uh, with the combination of powershell script and the site code job now uh, whenever you are running the script where can you see these logs okay ps log so in your app data there are many log files are created okay so specifically if you see here the sp log okay here is this log sp dot log these are the uh, these are the logs where your uh, sp related like the site code uh, uh, powershell script extension related to, uh, uh, each uh, logs will get uh, logged in this file so if you open that file you will see something like that executing a script in a script session and this is similar some uh, similar kind of a uh, logs will get executed in the for this uh, in the file okay the you if you want to uh, see any error or anything acting uh, regarding your uh, script then you can go to this file and check it okay so in the latest uh, log of sp you will get the uh, errors related to the your ps Guys, at the time of editing, I realized that uh, our video is becoming too large and it is uh, too long, and it is better to divide into the two part. So uh, I have divided the 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 uh, video in the two part, and we are stopping here for the first part. Okay. So for in the next part, we will we will see PS syntax and sample script. Okay. Uh, if if you like the video uh, till now please click on the like button do share with your friends and colleagues do provide your comments uh, uh, do you provide your feedback via the comments and if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update we will meet soon uh, thank you thanks for watching